Hello. In this video I will show you how you can create vertical beams behind your drawers. We want to make three drawers inside this cabinet and between these and on the upper side of the cabinet we also want a vertical beam. For this we go to the material tab. Let's create a new material. Therefore we open the material set editor. I create a new material and I call this dividing material. I copy this over and paste it into the material. Now I click on the three dots. and copy this over to the description as well. For the thickness I enter 0.01. For the unit I check x1. Price, density, texture and RGB value stay empty. Then I click rotatable and enter a length and a width that we will probably never exceed. Then I hit save and also hit save on the material editor. Now I close this. Next we need to check our gap settings for our front parts. To do so I drag a trim inside the cabinet. Then I go to the settings. As we can see now, we have a space below, on top, and on the left and on the right side of 2 mm. This is important for the next step. Let's click a board and delete the trim. Now we go to the division tab. Let's add a horizontal divider. We now set the height to the height that, that we want the beam to be plus 2 millimeters for the gap. So I want this to be 50 millimeters, so I enter 52 and hit enter. Now I drag another four horizontal dividers inside this area. And now I set the height of this area to 50 mm plus 2 mm on the top and the bottom equals to 54 as well as in this area. Now I go to the material tab and search for our newly, newly created material. Now I apply this to these dividers. Next we go to the front tab, check inlay and drag a trim in the areas we just created. On the top here in the middle and here on the other one. Since we want a connector here we now close, need to close the gap between the parts where we want the connectors to be. For this I choose one of these three arrows and set an overlap on the top as well as on the right and on the left which equals our gap setting. 
on the other two, we only need to do this on the left and on the right. Now we can insert our drawers. Let's make sure we have our hardware selected. And we also need to deactivate the inlay. Now I want to deactivate the handles and set the overlap of the front parts. Thank you for watching.